Praise the living Jesus. My name is Ariel Laure Olua, the prayer coordinator of this online prayer ministry, and this is Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network. Praying Eagles Network is an online prayer ministry where we fellowship together online to seek the face of the Almighty God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ with the help of Holy Spirit. Coming live from Lagos State, Nigeria, I know that as you join us today, as we fellowship together, as we pray together, to seek the face of the Almighty God, the Lord will arise and intervene on that matter. According to Luke 21, verse 13, we say, He shall turn to you for a testimony. That matter, that marital matter, that financial matter, that emotional matter, that matter concerning your business, concerning your career, concerning your health, concerning your loved one, it shall turn to you today for a testimony in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. One more time. That that matter, this very day, the Lord will turn it to you for a testimony in the name of Jesus. So why not sit down, get ready for a defined encounter, for a life transforming testimony. You are welcome, Jesus' name. Great thing he has done in your business, in your career, and in everything that are calling us. Can we lift up our hand and let's celebrate our Lord, our God today. Let's bless his holy name. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Our Lord is good. The Bible says, for his mercy, endure forever. Our Lord is good. For his mercy, endure forever. Wherever you are joining me from today, I want you to lift up your hand and bless his holy name. I want you to lift up your hand and give him all the praise, give him all the honor, give him all adoration. Let's celebrate our Lord, our God. Let's celebrate his faithfulness. Let's celebrate his love. Let's celebrate his kindness. Why not just lift up your hand and appreciate God? Why not just lift up your hand and bless his holy name? Why not just lift up your hand and and give him all the praise, give him all the honor, give him all the adoration. He is our Lord, he is our God, he is the faithful God, he is the loving God, he is the caring Father. Why not just lift up a hand and give him all the praise, give him all the honor, give him all the adoration. Let's celebrate him, let's adore him, let's give him all the praise, let's give him all the honor. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Our Lord is good. Thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. Lord, we worship you. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we worship you. My Lord, my God, we appreciate you. We worship your holy name. For today, the 25th day of this month, the 25th day of this December, year 2023, thank you for sparing our life. Thank you for upholding us. Thank you for sustaining us. Thank you for bringing us back today. Thank you for allowing us to be part of the living that we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be all the glory. To you be all the honor. To you be all the adoration. My Lord, my God, as we come before you today, to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, I ask that the heavens of joy will open upon us in the name of Jesus. The heavens of joy, the heavens of nature, Father, let it open upon each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. My Lord, my God, today, arise, O Lord. Visit each and every one of us. Arise, O Lord. Glorify your holy name in our midst, in our life in our home, in our marriage, in our business, in our career. And at the end of today, all glory, all honor to your holy name. In Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I welcome every one of us to today ministration. Today is December 25th. Today we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. You and I, we have come together 
to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, say to every one of us, Merry Christmas to every one of us. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Today we are not going to spend much time because I know our moms are preparing our chicken. Amen. So that the aroma of the chicken will not uh, disturb or distract us. I'm going to make today's uh, service brief and short. I believe God that within the next 30 minutes, I should be true. Amen. Praise uh, the living Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. Today we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today, December 25, every year, all over the world, the Christians, they come together to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. They come together to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, hear me, sir. Hear me, man. When we come together on that day, that particular day, December 25, we are not celebrating that day. You are not getting me. Because many people, especially those who are not Christian, those who are not believers, those who are not Christ followers, they try to criticize why are you celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ on December 25? Some people try to prove that, oh, his birth was not on December, in the month of December. Not to talk of that particular day, 25. Even some, some Christians, they are lost. And when it comes to it, when those when people are now criticizing them, they are lost. The joy of celebration, they, they don't even know what to do, what to say about it again. So hear me, sir, hear me, man. December, where, um, where we come together as Christ followers, as those that believe in Jesus Christ, man, sir, we are not celebrating that day we are not marking that day, that date. When people are celebrating their birthday, they are not marking that day. They are not marking the date of a particular day. They are trying to remember a day that they came to this world. So as a believer, when we come together, Either December 25, either January 1st, either January 2nd, either January 3rd, either January 5th, when we come together to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, hear me, number one, we are not, I repeat again, we are not marking that December 25. No. Because people think that we are marking the day. And that is why people are getting it wrong. And that is why many believers are getting it wrong also. That is where they are confused. Okay. Alright. If you say we are not marking December 25. So what are we doing on December 25? On December 25, we are simply trying to remember the significance of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. We can put it in another day. We can put it on the second, December 2nd. We can put it on, Ju on June 1st. We can put it on August 2nd. You can put it on any day that you like. But so that when I'm celebrating it, you are not Another Christian is not doing his own. Another thing. Another time, next week you come, you are saying you are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And don't forget, the birth of Jesus Christ 
have a lot of significance, a lot of benefit. In order to bring us together, so that we'll be able to do it together, celebrate together, rejoice together, felicitate, felicitate together, that is why some people come together and pick that particular date, December 25. And there are three story to why people choose that December 25. But hear me, sir, hear me, man. I'm not here today to do debate on why December 25. I'm here today to rejoice with you, to celebrate, and to bring to your remembrance as a reminder of the gospel as a reminder as a carrier of the good news the significance of the birth of our lord jesus christ praise the lord so here mr ayama when anybody query you that why are you celebrating the birth of jesus christ on december 25 tell them we are not after the date but we are after the remembrance of the significance the benefit of his birth so we choose that day we can as well choose another day somebody a friend of mine tried to try to deal with me last year <laughs> and uh, we, we attended secondary school together in those days from uh, the other religion that my friend is from the other religion and he asked me, you people, you call yourself Christian, 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 uh, especially you, pastor. You say you are celebrating uh, um, uh, Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ on um, December 25. Bring out your Bible. Show me your Bible. Where you have it that you should celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ on December 25. I want to see December 25. <laughs> Amen. Show me. Not only that, show me that he was born on December 25. <laughs> I just laugh. I said, very, this question you ask me is very simple question. I don't need to even crack my brain on it. You will be the one to answer it. I said, your religion. He said, yes. I said, there is a feast, a major feast, where you slaughter ram. Every year, uh, I say, uh -huh. I say, can you bring out your own book and show me the particular day? You try to point it to when Abraham tried to sacrifice his son before the Almighty God. When God asked him to sacrifice his son, I said, with that one, we even have issue. But I'm not going to. Talk about the issue because you only asked me about date. I said, show me the date that you set aside every year be doing that particular festival. We are all over the world. You must come, people must come to sacrifice a ram, a cow, a camel. Show me from your holy book that date. Uh, he said, you know, eh, eh, it's not you know, Josh, you ask me a question that I should show you. Why we celebrate Jesus Christ, the birth of Jesus Christ on December 25. So you show me. If you have calendar in the days of Abraham, <laughs> if you have calendar in the days of Abraham, if there is a record that on so, 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 so dates, on so, so, so months, so, so, so year was the date that Abraham <laughs> Abraham uh, sacrificed or was about to sacrifice his son. Uh, he said, uh, you know, later, the guy said, you know, you, you are so stubborn that you'll be using questions to answer. It's not about using questions to answer question. This is just straightforward. The leaders of your religion pick a day to remember a man, a servant of God, Call Abraham. An incident that happened in his life when he 
when God tried his faith and he submitted himself, he did not fail God. God said, sacrifice your son. And he brought the son before God. So in order to remember him, you pick a day, your leader pick a day, and that is it. I said, you want proof. I will bring it from the Bible, and I will bring it from your own book. <laughs> that was how we ended it. So I now say, my, my brother, it's very simple. No one is saying December 25 is the day that Jesus Christ was given back to. But we set it aside to remember the importance of why he was born. So, Simon, when everybody asks you, why are you celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ on December 25? Was he born on December 25? Uh, December 25? Tell them. No one has the record of the day that he was born. But we know he was born. But we choose December 25 to celebrate the importance, the significance of his birth. I think that one is clear. The date is clear. Praise he the Lord. So what are the significance of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? Number one, when we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are celebrating the end from the beginning. You do not yeah, understand. When we celebrate, as today, December 25, that we come together to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are celebrating the end from the beginning. God is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So we are trying to celebrate the end from the beginning. What is the meaning? The purpose of Jesus Christ coming to this world is to come and die for the sin, for the remission of sin of the world. That is the end. Every other thing and attached to that. The death and the resurrection. The death. Without his death, there won't be resurrection. Without his resurrection, we don't have hope. So the end means, the end means, every one of us, before you embark on a journey, you must think about the journey. What you want to go and do. When you are going to the office in the morning, you know why you are going to that office. When you wake up in the morning, when you are going to the market, you know when you are going to the market. You want to go and buy. That is why I love, I love women. Not like us men. Women, when they want to go to the market, they may spend one hour, they may spend two hours, they may spend a whole day. They will take a note. All our mommies in the house, may God bless every one of you in the name of Jesus. My wife, may God bless you. My wife have indoctrinated the system into my children now. Those who they want to go to the market, this is what you need to do. We need to go and buy. Me, you don't take the money, you just go. No, women, all our mommies in the house, happy celebration. They will take a note, they will write everything they want to buy. Not only write, they will, will put the costing, the amount. They are not going to the market, but the last price, they will fix it there. So when they get to the market, they know what they are bargaining. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They will do the sum. They will do the total. Sometimes they get to the market, the price change. They will begin to bargain based on the last. But we men. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Mr. Henry, am I right? We just put our wallet, our card, our cash, and off we go to the market. That is why men, sometimes we buy what we don't need. But women, it is always rare for you to see a woman to buy something out of uh, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So before you go out, before you go to the market, you know why you are going to the market. So Jesus Christ came to this world to die for our sin. The death and the resurrection. That was the original purpose. But before the original purpose, it must start from somewhere. Start from where? From the bat. Without him giving birth, so there won't be there won't be a way for him to get to that point. So here, Mr. Hyama, when we come together on December 25, on a day like this, a day that we set aside to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, what we are simply doing is we are celebrating the purpose of him coming to this world to die for our sin. It's resurrection. 
his death, his restoration, so that he can bring life back unto us, so that our sin can be forgiven. Praise the Lord. In Leviticus, uh, in Leviticus chapter 16, we see a goat there. The priest will bring that goat. When the priest brought that goat, he will lay hand on the goat. He will lay hand on the goat. Lay hand on the goat. He is having contact, bodily contact to the goat. And after that, they will not lead the goat to the desert, to the wilderness, where the goat will die. Having bodily contact, lay hand on the goat, he is transfer the sin of all the children of Israel. He is transferring them on the goat. Body contact. Body contact. Without the body contact of that priest, the sin of the world, the sin of the children of Israel will not be transferred to that animal. So if Jesus had to come and died just like that goat for the sin of the world, there must be a body contact. A body contact. Human being, we must have a bodily contact with him so that our sin, when we have body contact with him, our sin are transferred to him so that when the time comes, when he carry everything, he will be able to carry it and died so that we will live you remember the woman of the issue of the blood when she touched jesus christ jesus christ feel it and jesus christ said somebody touched me they said I'm, I'm all of us we touch you but jesus christ said no it's not like that somebody touched me somebody touched me and this person that touched me is is is, is, is unique is special because he feel the weight he feel the weight of the sin. He feel the weight of that sickness be transferred to him. That is why he have to come through bats. He can just jump up, jump down from heaven. If he jump down from heaven and he just appear, abracadabra, he just appear. All of us will be running away from him. So there won't be a way that he will be able to have a body contact. And there will be a way that the sin of the world will be transferred to him. Praise the Lord. So he must have a bodily contact with men and women. So that the sin will be transferred to him. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Number two. We celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. In order to celebrate the gift of God for womankind. John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, a precious gift. For God so loved the world that he gave. So when we come together to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, what we are simply doing is we are celebrating the gift of God. The gift of God. That special gift. And that is why you see. Christmas time is a season of exchanging gift. It's a season of exchanging gift all over the world. It's a season of celebration. Because we are celebrating the birth of Jesus. We are celebrating the gift of Christ. Significant of the birth of Jesus. The importance of his birth. Number one, I said, we are celebrating the end from the beginning. We are celebrating the gift of God. Amen. Also, <coughs> it's a time. Okay, I've talked about this, the season of celebration. Amen. It's a time to bring family together. Jesus Christ came to die for the whole world. The whole world. His coming brought the whole world together. The green, the white, the purple, whatever color, whatever tribe, whatever nation, uh, Revelation chapter 1, whatever tribe, whatever nation, whatever language is coming to the world, brought every one of us back together, back together, back together. That's why we see that uh, me, me, many families during Christmas season, that is the only time they set us apart 
that they meet. Only Christmas time. After Christmas time, New Year, everybody have traveled to their own work again. But Christmas time, they just have to meet. They just have to rejoice. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. No matter how long you have uh, hear from your family, during Christmas time, that is where you remember, oh, my uncle, oh, my auntie. Amen. Do you know why? Because Jesus Christ came to this world to do what? He brought the whole world together. He brought us together. So when we are celebrating Christmas, when we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, we are celebrating the grace for us to come together as one body. When we are celebrating the, uh, the birth of Jesus Christ, it's an, it's an opportunity we are celebrating and we are bringing gratitude. It's a season of appreciation unto God. What do that mean? It's a season of reflection and appreciation. Reflection and appreciation. That is what dovetail to the world. That during Christmas, end of the year, you see business, you see organization, their best customer, their loyal customer, they try, no matter how small, they try to appreciate them. Amen. I've been receiving a lot of email from some people that I minister to Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. If you subscribe to any, any, you see, if you are not careful, you are just tired of receiving Christmas greeting mail. Praise the Lord. Season of reflection and gratitude. We reflect on God giving us that special gift and we are happy. We celebrate. We appreciate him. You don't appreciate something in a moody way. Thank you. Thank you. What is that? When you are happy, you celebrate something. You are when you want to appreciate somebody for doing something for you. You want to appreciate somebody who has given you something. You want to appreciate somebody who has been there with for you. How do you do it? You appreciate it with smile. You appreciate it celebrating that person. Thank you. Somebody sent me a first mail this morning. And uh, that person has been has been on the platform for how many years now? So when I played it, that was the first time that person is going to celebrate, is going to uh, send a, what do you call it? Send audio for first mail to me. So when I listen to it, at first I just listen, it's a normal something. But later I have to listen to it again. And I was moved. Celi that person appreciates the effort, they celebrate the grace of God that this ministry has been there for her. This ministry has been building her spiritual. Anytime there are issues, he, he, uh, from that audio, she has hope and there's confidence that if I can just get my phone, there's somebody that will be there for me. Praise the Lord. So when I listen to it again, the second time, the third time, it now has another meaning. It's a celebration of grace of God. Praise the Lord. So, celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, we are celebrating and we are appreciating God for His gift. Who we'll spare our life from January till now? The gift of life. How many people have died from January till now? But you are alive. You are alive. Yes, you may have 100 uh, prayer requests, and none is granted. But the gift of life, can you pay for it? Praise it, the Lord. And for those of us who have testimony, praise it, the Lord. One of my mommy online called me, which day, the moment she called, because we are believing God for a testimony, the moment she called, before she said anything, I said, Ma, is this testimony? And she said, Yes, God have done it. God have done it. So Christmas celebrating the birth of Christ is appreciating God. For his faithfulness, appreciating God, we are grateful unto him for nothing but his gift. When we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, we celebrate one that brings light to the world. When you celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, 
what you are simply doing is you are celebrating what you bring life into this world. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. What is life? Light. Another word for life is light. Another word for life is light. So we are celebrating him who bring light and life into this world. Jesus Christ. Once again, December 25, we are not marking the day. We are not celebrating the day. It has nothing to do with the day. But it has something to do with the man, a man called Jesus Christ. We are celebrating the end from the beginning. We are celebrating his death from his birth. Because without his birth, he won't have connection with men. He won't have body contact with men. Without body contact with men, there won't be a way for sin to be transferred unto him. And if sin is not transferred unto him, he will not be able to carry the sin and die. And if he did not die, he will not be able to resurrect. And if he did not resurrect, the whole world will still be full of that sin. Just like our uh, Christmas tree, uh, we put light on them. The light there, we are not just putting light. We are putting light on them even before the before the the people produce light. In the ancient days, they used to put oil lamp, oil lamp during festival Christmas time like this on the road. You will see they will put oil lamp there. Other time they don't do it, but Christmas time they put light. They put a lamp, all those clay pots, they will put a wool and they will lighten it up. And from there, they migrate to using candle. Every night, they put on candle to lighten the house, to lighten the road. That's right. Joy comes to the world. So when you are, look outside, instead of seeing darkness, you see light. You are happy. There's hope. So celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, we are celebrating one that brought light, that brought hope unto the world. And thank God for electricity now. You have a lot of light. Christmas light here and there. Amen. Praise the Lord. One more because I said we are not going to spend more than 30 minutes today. When we celebrate the birth of Jesus, we are renew our faith. What do I mean? Jesus Christ came to this world to die for me, to die for you. When you celebrate his birth, what you are simply doing is you are renewing your hope in him. You are renew your hope in Christ. Your hope in Jesus. Your hope. He gave me assurance. He, Jesus Christ, came to this world and died for me. There's all for me. There's all for my tomorrow. It's assurance of victory over Satan. There's hope. There's assurance. There's victory. So when you come, when I come to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, hear me, sir, hear me, man. I will keep repeating it so that you, you don't forget it. We are not marking the day, December 25. We are celebrating the birth of a man who gives us hope. If Jesus Christ came to this world and died, I have hope. My hope is sure. There is victory for me. No matter what I'm passing through right now, there's hope for me because Jesus Christ came and died. No matter the sickness, no matter the ailment, no matter the setback, hear me, sir, hear me, ma. As long as you are sure that Jesus Christ came to this world, there's hope for you. And I know according to the Bible, your expectation shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. I say your expectation shall not be cut off in the name of Jesus. I mentioned this. It's a season to uh, it's a season of exchanging of gifts 
We are just trying to copy what God has done. For God so loved the world that He gave us His only begotten Son. And that one brought joy to the world. It brought joy to the world. So when you look at our land now, you see people exchanging gifts here and there. Exchanging gifts. See people going to the orphanage, to the homeless people. Amen. Bless them. So those people are happy. They are happy. They are happy. All over the world, they know there's joy on ground now. Because of one man. Because of Jesus. The best gift that a man can receive is the gift of joy. There are some people that sometimes to eat is difficult. They know on Christmas Day they are going to eat. That's joy. That's joy. So when we are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, we are celebrating joy. Joy that comes through his birth. I pray for you, sir. I pray for you, ma. May the gift of God, may the celebration of God, may the joy of God not depart from your home, from your marriage, from your business, from your career, in the name of Jesus. Before we go today, because I don't want to, to hold us too much, so that the hold all the smelling, the aroma of the shaking that our mommies are cooking will not be distracting us, so that we quickly go and devote them. Amen. Praise the Lord. Mommy, okay, the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Mommy, okay, please tell my friend that they should send me the shaking head and the, the two legs. Amen. Mr. Henry, may the Lord God bless you, sir. Merry Christmas. God bless you, sir. Every one of you on Facebook, may God bless you. Every one of you on YouTube, may God bless you. Before we go, please, sir, please, man. We are celebrating the birth of Jesus. Have you given your life to Christ? You are listening to me right now. You are watching me on Facebook. You are listening to watching on YouTube. You are watching or listening on any of the other platforms. Have you given your life to Christ? If you have not given your life to Christ, you may celebrate. You, must, you may spend all the money you have on celebration. But the, 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 the most important thing you have left it beside, have you given your life to Christ? If you have not given your life to Christ, the birth and the death of our Lord Jesus Christ is in vain. His birth is coming to this world and the end means this death is in vain. If you have not given your life to Christ, have you given your life to Christ? If you have given your life to Christ, congratulations. Please, sir, hold on to it. Don't lose it. Don't lose your salvation. If you have not given your life to Christ, why? what are you waiting for? I encourage you. Give your life to Christ today so that his birth coming to this world to have bodily contact with men and women so that our sin will be transferred to him so that we'll be able to carry the weight of the sin away from us will not be in vain if you want to give your life to christ so that we are as we are celebrating the bible said there is joy in heaven when one sinner no matter how you live holy as long as you have not given your life to christ they see, see you as a sinner there is joy in heaven when a sinner repented and some give his life to christ as we are celebrating today you want the host of heaven to celebrate concerning you so submit your life unto christ it's very simple and one day like this i met a christ and i just go through one process confessing him believing in my with my heart and confess with my mouth and that is all that is all and today to god be the glory you want to give your life to Christ? In the next one minute before we go, can you just put your hand, your right hand, put it on your chest? Say today. Say thank you, Jesus. Say today. Say I have come before you, Lord Jesus Christ. Say I believe with my heart that you are the Lord and Savior. Say and I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord, you are the God. Say as I have come before you today, I can't hear you. See, as I've come before you today, say I submit myself unto you. Say I confess my sin. Say I confess my sin. Say and I proclaim that Jesus Christ, you are the Lord and you are the Savior. Say I proclaim that Jesus, you are my Lord. You are my, you are my Savior. Say I confess with my mouth that you are the Lord 
you are the my God. Say I confess. Say I repent from sin. I repent from sin. Say I renounce every work of darkness. Say I renounce every work of darkness. Say I hold, I claim Jesus Christ. I proclaim Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior in the name of Jesus. As you have declared, I declare, as you have proclaimed Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior today, may Jesus Christ come into your life. May He uphold you. May He visit you in the name of Jesus. Once again, the Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. May God bless every one of us. May God bless our home. May God bless our marriage. May God bless our business. May God bless our career. The significant, the joy of celebration of our departure of Jesus Christ is the hand. The death and his resurrection. We are celebrating his birth. That point to his death and his resurrection. We are celebrating the gift of God to mankind. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We are celebrating. We are, being, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are reflecting on our past and giving God all the praise, giving God all the honor. As you do that, your home, as you do that, as you facilitate with your family, your friend, your loved one, please let's not forget the needy among us, around us, around your environment, around your, around your environment, around your sea, uh, streets, those who are in need. Please let's show them love. For God so loved the world, let's replicate that. Let's show to the world that we are the bonafide sons and daughters of Jesus Christ, of our Lord God. So let's show them the word love. It's not by mouth, it's by our action. No matter how small, share for the hand of love to someone around you. One person may mean a lot. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And before we go, please let's not forget this week, this coming Wednesday, that is next tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, our retreat comes by the grace of God, 11 o'clock in the night, 11 Nigerian time. Amen. Somebody said the time is odd. Yes, you know, <laughs> the man have to come back home and uh, we are looking at some other country so that it will be suitable to every one of us. Eleven is not convenient for me too. Amen. And I know some people they will be in the morning, some people will be in the midnight. Amen. But please set your alarm 11 p.m. Nigeria time. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. Once again, Merry Christmas and happy celebration to every one of us. Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Dear father, mother, uncle, auntie, married, single, boy, girl, man, woman, brother, sister, and friend, you and I will one day leave this world and our spirit will appear on the other side. Will you be allowed to enter heaven? The only way to enter heaven is to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and walk in righteousness. If you have not given your life to Jesus or you once did and you backslid it, you started living in sin please say this prayer after me lord jesus i believe in my heart that you died for me and on the third day you rose again that i might be free from sin right now i confess you as my lord and personal savior forgive me my sins and wash me with your blood make me your child and write my name in the book of life thank you jesus for saving me sin and satan has no more power over my life in jesus mighty name it's a new day. Amen and amen. God bless you.